Welcome back. Not all social media influencers are created equal. While some are getting rich, others are just getting by with pickier sponsors, lower platform payments, and a potential TikTok ban. Aspiring influencers feel vulnerable. Fortnite content creator Clint Brantley joins us now. And it's great to have you on the program, Clint. Thank you so much for being here. But basically what you're talking about is uh, an account where you have 400,000 followers, which is uh, pretty substantial. And then you're seeing that you're not making as, me as much profits as everybody else. So ultimately in a year, you're making roughly just a little bit less than $60,000. What's happening here in this space where it's so competitive that if you can have that kind of following, you can't get the money to match up with it? There are a few things you need to take into consideration with that. One is the saturation of the market. You have to think how many content creators are out there that are trying to make it like I am, right? Um, so because of that, because there's such a, an abundance of content creators, there's going to be, you know, not as many opportunities or brands aren't going to feel as pressured to offer higher amounts of money. Um, the other thing is, too, you have to think of the niche. It's no surprise that like things like the tech niche, um, for example, like on YouTube, those videos typically have higher ad revenue than something like gaming does because, once again, the market is so saturated. It's just simply a matter of supply and demand. Why, then, did you choose this career? What, content creation in general or specific or the specific yes. niche? That, yeah, versus a, a normal career, a, a trade school. You know, what, <laughs> what made you excited about this? I so I've been doing content really since I was 12 years old. I've always mm -hmm. been inter, I've always loved to entertain people and and I've always wanted to be a YouTuber um even when the platform first came out, but I used to have a normal 9 to 5. I worked an office job. And for the first year and a half of me doing this, I did content creation alongside a 9 to 5. I worked bare minimum 80 hours mm -hmm. a week doing full-time content creation and working a full-time job. But the difference between the two is that this is more fulfilling a nine to five is not going to fulfill you in the way that owning your own business like being a content creator will but people don't understand is that this isn't just sitting in front of a computer and playing games all day uh, you have to be a business owner and that's what it, at the end of the day what it really comes down to so clint let me ask you about that i've got kids who i think have they talk about oh, i want to be a you know influencers some everybody does everybody says that i got guys i follow on youtube who i really love who do what you do but it looks easy when i watch it my guess though is you work way more than an eight hour day every day tell us about the workload involved in doing what you do the you are never off the clock with this type of work path and that's what a lot of people don't understand um, on a previous show, I had said that a lot of people, regardless of what side of the spectrum you lie on, whether you like content creation or you don't, um, a lot of people think that it is just about sitting in front of a computer, turning on a camera and playing games live. But people don't understand this is a business and you have to treat it like it's a business. I work. I mean, I can have 12 to 15 hour days. I can have days where I don't get a lot of sleep. I might get three or four hours of sleep. I have I'll go from one live stream rest a little bit, start another live stream early in the morning because a new Fortnite update or something's happening, right? Yeah. You always have to be paying attention to trends. And even on times when you're on vacation, you are always thinking about content. Even when you're away from the job, you're never off the clock. So mm. if anyone's thinking about going into content creation, you have to understand there are a lot of hurdles and mental battles that you have to overcome if you're going to maintain any kind of consistency in a career like this. And it's interesting. It's kind of like what our previous guest, Sean Mike, was talking about. It's like running your own business. you got to work hard. That's what he said. Um, Clint, we wish you all the best of luck and success. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. <laughs>